technology. While some say kids spend way too much time on their phones, their computers, video games, at the end of the day, having a solid understanding of how technology works can be really beneficial. The Teenager 207's Beth McAvoy is introducing us to has already figured out how to use technology to move forward with a career while still in high school. Robin and Amanda, while many teens are passing the long summer days playing video games on their phones or at the beach, Daniel Giulianti is busy building a business. What may sound like loud music to some, like Blue Whale has a really distinctive uh, reverb sound, is actually work for this team. Uh, ever since I was seven, I knew I wanted to go into production. If you can even call doing what you love work. I love plugins. It's like I'm married to a plugin. At just 14 years old, Giulianti is decidedly very young to know with such certainty which direction he wants his life to go. Started off as this really small idea. And to have already started doing something about it. Plugins um, are these little digital synthesizers that go into your workstation um, or musical application. Plugins are like a filter placed on a picture that change the overall look. Really mostly about manipulating the sound. Once applied to a music track, plugins change and distort the sound. They're just used as kind of a way to spark up your sound. Um, they're also used to kind of give your sound this something different from what, any, what anybody else has ever heard before. The young teen who studies at the Maine Academy of Modern Music passes hours in an impressive home studio. This uh, small electric uke. Daniel came up with the idea for these plugins because Daniel found there just weren't the type of sounds that he wanted that were a little bit more wild, a little bit crazier, a little bit different. Giulianti had the ideas but needed the know-how of his father to start the business. My dad manages all the, the contacts and the marketing and I manage uh, all the uh, creative ideas. In December, the father-child duo launched Tapeworm Audio. I wanted it to kind of flutter like a butterfly and just, you know, I wanted people to see something cool and, and, and something experimental instead of something that's been done a thousand times. I mean, the name really comes from just uh, being yourself. So far, they've created four plugins named as creatively as they sound. Vapertron, uh, Red Stranger, we've got one, one ironically called Black Plague. Uh, and then we have, uh, our last one is uh, Blue Whale. So right now we have four plugins. Daniel just is so intelligent about music. Hard to believe that this talented musician has only been playing instruments for the last six years. The main instruments I play um, are uh, guitar, bass, drums, banjo, mandolin, a little bit of harmonica, cajon, some keys, and synthesizers. Giulianti has performed live at venues all over Portland even appearing on 207 a few years ago. But despite his performing talent, the teen prefers to work behind the scenes rather than in the limelight. I really prefer production. I think producing is more versatile than playing instruments. I feel like you can do so much more with production than, than live instruments, but clashing them together. Giulianti's intense passion for music has spilled over, <laughs> becoming infectious for the family. It's not one of the things where the family has a family band or we've, we've all been into music. It's really that Daniel took us into the whole musical journey. Starting a business is teaching the teen patience. Obviously, we're not gonna lift off in two seconds, it's even now it's still taking some time and I, I respect that it's it's gonna be a while. Giulianti's father is passing down professionalism and in turn seems to be picking up a thing or two from his child. I think he's learning to take music more seriously. I'm so proud of Daniel's love and, and passion for music and it, it's really, it's healed uh, everything about our family, just the music and being together and um, having this as, as kind of a family project. The collaboration has brought the two closer. I love it when we both come together and have all of our ideas so that it's not, I, I don't like things to be all about me. I want my, my father to come in and just collaborate with me and just coming up with um, these new experimental ideas, it's really fun. Art and business being melded to make a perfect harmony 
for this family. It's really fun. I love it when we both just come together and come up with a, a cool idea. Daniel's plugins sell for $20 to $25. You can check them all out at tapewormaudio.com. What an impressive start. By the way, I remember when Daniel was actually on 207, having watched that video now. Well, we've had a lot of musicians over the years from uh, Main Academy of Music, and uh, it's neat to see that some of them have really <laughs> gone places. Main Academy of Modern Music, uh, it's, uh, it's really cool. Yeah, that is super cool. Congrats, Daniel.